My name is Jonathan Mos uh, from Antec. I'm a global IT manager uh, for the company, and uh, I wanted to tell you a little bit about uh, some systems we built for MacWorld uh, in March. Uh, these are Hackintosh systems uh, using our products, our, our computer cases, Antec uh, computer case. This is a P280, uh, and using our power supply, 850 watt HCP Platinum modular power supply. Uh, we're using a gigabyte uh, motherboard on this system. What's great about this Gigabyte motherboard, it's the first motherboard to support Thunderbolt 2.0. And uh, for Macworld, we used a Thunderbolt display. So that was one of the uh, key things we wanted to have running for the show. Um, this motherboard uh, is high-end. It has a lot of features. You could run up to four video cards in the system. Uh, or any other card, right? So you can have a yeah. Thunderbolt card or... Yeah, Thunderbolt card. Uh, this one is running a Gigabyte GTX 770, uh, four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, we also have a quad kit from Patriot Memory. Uh, it's a 32 gigabyte uh, quad kit running at uh, 2400 megahertz. And the processor? And the processor is an i7-4770 uh, se uh, CPU. Uh, it's actually running on this system, if you look right here, uh, 4.29 gigahertz. Uh, so when you compare these specs right here to the Mac Pro, uh, the Mac Pro, uh, their memory only runs at 1800 megahertz, and their CPU is at 3. Point, uh, I believe it's 3.7. And so how does this compare to a Mac Pro? So this compares uh, in a lot of ways. You can't compare them directly, but uh, features-wise, like the CPU speed runs a little bit faster on this system. We can overclock this system. We have more flexibility, uh, more options. Look at this case. You can add all the hard drives you want. Right, and, and at the moment it's running off an SSD, yeah? Yeah, this is running off an SSD, an ADATA, uh, 256 gig. But you got a whole bunch of bays there. Yeah, we have tons so of bays, and on our case, you can easily uh, remove them. Uh, we have rubber grommets, silicone grommets, uh, make it easy just to take out, plug back in. Right, and this uh, thing's running completely silently, like we can barely, even though the fans are all running, yeah, so like we have thing. a three-speed uh, uh, fan here. Uh, this is a water cooling system that we offer uh, for our customers. It's the Cooler 920, and uh, it's a self-contained water cooling system, so you never have to worry about the fluids inside evaporating or leaking. Uh, self-contained with dual uh, fan radiator exhaust. Right, and the fans are all, uh, they have um, filters. Right, yeah. so that's... Uh... The, there's filters on the case, actually. Uh, so one, one is here on the bottom. So you have a lot of uh, dust and everything. Uh, so you never get dust bunnies in this You machine. won't. <laughs> and so you can just blow these out real yeah. quick and then uh, just plug it right back in. Uh, on the front of the case, we also have one um, as well. Right. Uh, and it's bigger, so you can just easily click that out, blow it off. Yeah. Um, there's room to install more fans in the front, too, if you desire uh, to have more cooling. Okay. So how much does this machine cost? So this machine, uh, we have a spec sheet. Uh, so I think we'll attach it to, to this uh, review. Um, this system, I believe it's right at $2,000. Uh, $2, and uh, the Mac Pro? And the Mac Pro with uh, similar specs would be right at 3499 $3,499. So you're saving about a grand. Yeah, yeah, easily. And okay, then, uh, and it's running uh, Mavericks? The Mavericks. The version of Mavericks? Yeah. And, yeah. and how does it score on the, on, uh, you know, the, the benchmarks? Yeah, it, it does really well. Uh, if you can look here, we ran a, a, a CPU test right here on, on the system. Uh, compared to these other results that were run today, uh, it's... Yeah. It's right there at the top. That's it's, it in red right up there. Yeah. Right, right, right. So it's running at 10.9.2 you know, uh, Mavericks, and uh, we run some other tests on here, uh, graphic tests. It does really well. So. Um, you don't really see a bottleneck anywhere within the system, yeah. um, which is great. So if you're yeah. a video editor, uh, graphics guy, this is something that would be great for you because you can expand it, add whatever you want. You, uh, it has two Thunderbolt ports. If you wanted more, you could get another car. Right, a lot of flexibility. A lot how, of flexibility. How long did it take you to put together? Uh, to put together these systems, uh, it took about like well, a few hours just to assemble the hardware. Yeah. Uh, the software part took a little bit longer to tweak. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You, you have to uh, install a few things. The Tony Mac eighty six uh, website is a great site. Yeah, uh, lots of uh, users there uh, to help you out if you run into any roadblocks. But this motherboard just was released in January or February, mm -hmm. so it hadn't quite been tested throughout the community uh, uh, 
as some of the older bo uh, older boards. So uh, we were able to get this going though for the uh, Macworld show. Cool. Okay. And so then do we have a a uh, a slightly uh, more uh, I don't want to say <laughs> what would yeah. you use to describe Th it. This is a I would say more of a compact case. Uh, we designed this system over here to go head to head with the Mac Pro, and then we designed the smaller system to be more of a budget system where you could yeah. have a really good system, but we're, we're focusing on price and keeping the costs down. Okay, it's good all the cool lights. Yeah, so we, uh, we also make the lighting uh, for inside your case too, uh, USB, the, the accent lighting, right? Right, okay, so again, running off an SSD. Running off an SSD, the same SSD we have in the other system. This is sporting a, a GTX 760 video card, gigabyte. Uh, we have our water cooling system in this. Uh, this is a, a cooler 620. We have a 16, uh, it's a 615, sorry. And uh, this is a dual uh, 16 gigabyte uh, kit here from mm -hmm. Patriot. Mm -hmm. And um, this motherboard has uh, built-in Wi-Fi, uh, a, lot of, a lot of features that you'd expect to have in a system, so. Uh, and that costs about how much to put together? This one uh, came in right at like a thousand bucks. What was the cost? 1,143. 1,143.92. Okay, and here it is running a Transformers loop on the uh, the TV. Yeah, yeah, so we've been installed video games on here. We've been running uh, multiple videos and uh, haven't seen anything uh, that makes you go, hmm, that, that we're very happy with the results. Uh, this is something I think that users would want to have. I mean, the Mavericks OS system is free. Uh, you compare it to Microsoft, you have to pay for the licensing. Uh, I think this benefits a lot of people. This would be a great X coding uh, machine if you're going to be an Apple programmer. Well, yeah, well, if you're going to run Mavericks on it, you should really be buying a copy, right, from the. Uh, from Mavericks. Yes, and yeah, yeah. And it's you not strictly. Uh, yeah, so this is just uh, for demonstration yeah, purposes, these right. systems. Uh, we wanted to show the capabilities uh, of what they can do. We don't sell the complete systems, but. Uh, yeah, yeah, nice. It's a, it's a great little um, project, a weekend project, isn't it? Yes, yes, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. So, uh, what else? Um, yeah, wrap it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think that's about it. Um, thanks, guys, for uh, watching the review. And uh, if you check out the specs, I think you guys will, will appreciate uh, yeah. the components in here. So, thanks again. Cool.